Hey and welcome to the Wishing Shed. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this needle felted puddle duck. Okay, so I've bent my pipe cleaner into shape and I'm going to start wrapping now with thin strips of cream carded wool. So wrapping up the neck. I keep it as smooth as I can and up onto the head area and build the head area up and needle felt that into place all over and the other end down the other way and then roll the neck area in between the palms of your hands quite vigorously like this And that's not quite big enough around the top of the hair, so I'm just going to add a little bit more wool around that area. I'm going to add wool around the tail area of my duck. Just a thin strip to keep this tail pointy. Wrapping up over the middle section of the body. And just slightly onto the base of the neck. And then down onto the lower end of the body. Keep adding more wool around the body area until you're happy with the size and shape. Remember to leave the tail going thinner and also up onto the neck area, keep that thin. Again, it sometimes helps to roll the wool in between your hands like this, just to shape it. It's starting to take shape quite nicely now. Now, if you want to, you can leave the body um, like that and then just add the wings and continue. But I like to add a bit more detail to the chest and the lower belly area, so I'm going to add that on now. So just roll up the section of wool and you can use your stencil sheet as a guide for the size. And starting with the lower belly area, I'm just going to needle felt that lengthways across like this. And then a small section for the chest area. And I'm needle felting now right here just to taper that down, just to give that a nicer shape there. And now I'm happy with that, I'm just going to cover these little joins with a very thin layer of the same coloured wool, just going up a little bit here just to cover that. So the reason I like to attach the bottom lower stomach area first section uh, is because if you line it up with the tail, um, this is where the little boots are going to sit. So try and make it sort of quite flat along the bottom here because that's where our little boots are going to go. And it should kind of run in line with the tail, but the tail goes down just a little bit more. Work out the middle area of the lower tummy section and needle felt a line down right down the middle and then we're going to put later on we'll put the little wellies one either side okay you're going to make the beak now so i'm going to cut the pipe cleaner to length fold that in half like that pinch together and i'm going to wrap that now with some orange carded wool just a little bit now, if you prefer, you can make the beak from felt fabric. I just like the way that you can bend the pipe cleaners and it gives quite a nice shape um, when it's finished. A little bit more at this end, so it sort of gets thicker towards the head end. 
thinner because obviously there's wire in there so just be mindful of your needle because it might um, break it use your fingers to help flatten and smooth that down um, we're going to be smoothing it more later but for now that looks pretty good okay it's attached that now so I'm going to needle felt from the underside so that this section here just goes over the top a little bit and needle felt that straight underneath and then needle felt some of the white down just to attach okay I'm gonna put a little bit more white underneath to hold that in place just a tiny bit you can see the bottom of our beak runs along to the bottom of the head. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more orange wool to the top of the beak area here. Go into a point, and this is optional, but I like to just draw on the area that I want to fill so that I don't add too much wool. So I just want to go up a little there. Felt that all down. A little bit more wool, and I'm going to sort of create a little bit more detail around the beak just a little kind of backwards s shape so just don't know if you can see that there so we're going around here underneath like a little backwards s right so just felting sort of even I'm sewing the eyes now, just going to mark roughly my position and to get the other eye position, just want to sew straight through to the other side, just to check you have the right place. So that's straight in. And I'm going to sign off under the join of the neck here so that it's hidden. And just cut out the wings from your felt fabric. And then just needle felt a little bit of the cream carded wool over the top. And then lift and turn and needle felt around to the other side. And then use your fingers to smooth the fibres around the tips of the wings. line with the top of the chest area slightly towards the back and you can pin them in place first if that's easier or just needle felt to lightly attach and then when you're happy with the position just cover those joins with some more carded wool and I felt it some that way I'm just going to felt a little bit now horizontally this way just to blend that a little better. And it helps when looking above to attach the wings just to get a more even position. Like a turquoise coloured pair of wellies but you can make any colour that you like and so I'm just going to wrap a pipe cleaner with the carded wool Wrap it nice and even, going around the ends. That's going to create the toe area. So just needle felt that all over. And roll. Okay, once you're happy with the thickness, now I'm going to add some little white polka dots. So I like to follow a line. So start. At the bottom and then 
just work your way up. You just needle felt another line but in the gap there. Okay, then using an old pair of scissors, you just want to cut your boots to length. Cut through the pipe cleaner. And bend those into shape. Let's make the base now. So I'm going to roll up some brown carded wool into roughly about 10 centimeter circumference circle. And if you prefer, you can use a multi-tool, which just helps to felt the wool a little bit faster. Okay, now we're going to add some of this nice mixed green wool onto the top of the brown. Just focusing mainly around the edges. And I'm using some blue wool felt fabric now for my puddle. Just cut that out um, into a rough oval shape, light blue. And we're going to put that on and needle felt straight through. Alternatively, you can just needle felt blue wool straight on. Then just take a nice thin layer of your blue carded wool and needle felt that over the top. And don't worry about any of these needle marks here, these little holes, I'll show you how to get rid of those. If you don't have a multi-tool, you can just use your single needle and just keep working on that until it's felted right down. And now using some carded white wool, um, we just want to needle felt around the edge to create a sort of ripple effect in the puddle. And then follow the pattern of the outer puddle you've done just to create a few more ripples in the water. Okay, this bit's optional, but I've just got a little mixture here of PVA glue with washing up liquid and water. And I'm gonna smooth that around the water just to get rid of those needle marks, those little poke holes. So we just smooth that over. And I just sprinkle that onto the water. Okay, just cutting the little petals now in my flowers. And just make really small little snips. Okay, so I've laid down my leaves and I'm going to needle felt straight through some yellow wool for the center of the flower. If preferred, you can sew on um, some little buttons for the centre or um, just some little, little beads you could sew through for the centres of the flowers, so that's entirely up to you. and trim off any excess fibre at the back. And now I'm just using a little bit of craft glue to glue those to my base. And lastly, I'm making a little fence just to go around the back of the puddle. I'm making a little fence to go around the back. So I've just cut myself a piece of felt. For the fence posts, I'm using some card and just covering that with some craft glue. You just want to stick your felt fabric on top of that and let that dry. And for the fence posts, I'll just mark out.
So to attach the boots, you can just glue them on either using a hot glue gun or um, some craft glue. But for extra stability, I'm going to use a cocktail stick and you want to push a twist as you push because otherwise they break really easily, I find. So twist as you push down alongside the pipe clean on inside there. And once you've made the hole, you can go ahead and use some craft glue just a little bit and twist that down and let that dry and once that's dry you can line it up on your duck's body where you want the boots to go so they want to just sit just at the base of the tail here and under the belly and work out the position so around about here and make a hole again twist and push at the same time so you don't break a cocktail stick and once you're happy with the position, you just want to use a little bit of glue Oops. around the base, so a nice strong craft glue. And push right in and let that dry. Use a little bit of that mixture I made earlier of the PVA glue and water and smooth that over the beak. Um, okay, I'm going to make the cape and the rain hat now. I've decided to use this lovely rainbow coloured felt which I've hand dyed, but you can use any colour felt that you like. Okay, so alternatively you can put a little stitch around the neck and then you could just sew on a bow um, or glue on a little bow, but I'm actually going to glue some ribbon. So I'm just going to glue on some ribbon here. Once the glue is completely dried, use your thumb to just carefully push and shape the top of the hat a little bit more. And then fold the front and you just want to add a little bit of glue. And just glue that up. And just shape it around. So alternatively you can sew the underside of the hat like this. I've just used a whip stitch. Um, you might have to pin it in place and gather it as you stitch to um, keep it even and then turn it like so and then just glue the front of the hat up like this. and push your cocktail stick down into the centre, make a little hole and once you've got the position you can just glue that in place. And let that dry. And now you can just push your duck into place with the hole you made earlier. And there's our little puddle duck all finished. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial guys. Thanks again for stopping by today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you back here soon.